Okay, let's talk about what goes into a bill rate. Now, one of the philosophies we bring as far as managing a bill rate is understanding the interior of a bill rate. Because if you're gonna apply discounts or other kinds of strategies, you also want it, your strategy and impact to flow appropriately throughout the interior of the bill rate. So let's get, let's get into some of the high level perspective we're gonna bring here and talk about it. So first of all, there's the pay rate. So this is direct pay to the worker. And <clears throat> um, as we talked about in module five, there's no co-employment risk here. There's no issues of understanding what the pay rate is. Um, uh, and so we believe you should understand what <clears throat> these um, uh, worker and the talent is being paid while they're offering and delivering some good value to your organization. So understand what that is and understand what it, what it costs. Uh, to get access to certain levels of content, of uh, skill set, content, and, and value. Okay. Then there's the markup, and the markup includes, as the way we've defined the bill rate here in a very simple form, it includes all the cost of um, operating the business. Let's take a look at, <clears throat> at that a little bit. First of all, the pass-through statutory expenses are going to be part of the markup, along with the gross margin, and that gross margin is paying for the nice fishbowl in the lobby of your staffing partner and it's just anything you can think of. These are operating expenses plus the all important profit that your staffing partner needs to <clears throat> be able to capture to be able to stay in business and grow their, their, their business and capabilities and the value that they can deliver to you. But we keep it real simple. I'm sure you could cut this up another you know dozen ways, okay? But what we wanted to do in this, uh, as we uh, cover this content, is cover these main uh, buckets of the bill rate. And there are some organizations in the marketplace say, no, we're not gonna tell you what the pay rate is. You can't see these things. And, um, and as far as I'm concerned, you're blind in trying to execute your cost management strategy um, if you don't have this kind of um, visibility in the interior of a bill rate. So that's and, our bill rate. Yeah, right? and Stephen, to, to add to that, I think there's real benefits of capturing the pay rate. As we start to see organizations move to total talent strategies, the alignment of a staff AUG worker to an FTE worker and being able to identify those pay rates can be a really powerful tool. We're not saying that a contingent worker, a staff AUG worker should make the same pay rate as a full-time because you've got burden and benefits that sit in that full-time. But knowing that, and then it becomes simple math, it becomes really powerful. And we have a couple of our buyers, uh, council members, our beloved council members, as we call them, that are effectively using the strategy to drive real change and real thought leadership as it relates to the different sourcing channels. Should I go FTE? Should I go staff AUG? Because they have visibility and data to these types of, uh, types of rates. 